What's up guys, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. If you have ever seen us camping on a beautiful vineyard or a farm, then we have been camping at Harvest Host locations. And today we are talking to the creators of that program. So stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today and if it's your first time here we would love for you to subscribe and join the Vibe Tribe. So today we are at the annual Quartzsite Escapers Bash here with Don and Kim from Harvest Hosts. So thank you guys so much for being here today. Oh we're, we're pleased to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah we have used your membership and love Harvest Hosts and we have done a couple videos about it and mentioned it all the time because it is such a great resource for full-time RVers to have when you don't want to camp in an a uh, Walmart parking yeah. lot and stay at a beautiful vineyard or a farm or some cool yeah. experience like that. So before we dive into all the stuff Harvest hosts, I first want to know what lit the spark to get out there on the road and to really try RV life. Oh boy. Hi. Wow, we've been we've been RVing for so yeah. long. That's that's a tough question. Um, we both grew up camping, doing the whole mm -hmm. tent thing. And uh, we, when we first met, we were still doing the tent thing. And I think mostly it was just, we got a little bit older and that tent wasn't quite as uh, appealing anymore. That's so right. I was like, why don't we get something with a real bed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little, little, little baby steps, you know? I mean, this, we're, we're driving a truck camper and this is actually our third truck camper because each one gets a little bit more specialized for us. Yeah. I hear you, but, you, but it seems like you gravitate towards a little bit smaller of a rig. Absolutely. Yes. We we really like to be able to get into everywhere we want to go. We want to see a little road and say, mm -hmm. oh, let's go down that little road. Um, we've always been adventurers and uh, explorers and wanting to get out there and see everything we can, explore uh, everything we can, and the truck camper really fits our lifestyle. We yeah, completely yeah. understand and that's why we love how small our rig is now. We can get to some of the coolest places that our friends wish they could get that's down right. yes. that little yes. road to get there. <laughs> So now I have to ask, how the heck did you ever come up with the idea for Harvest Hosts? <laughs> well, let's see. Um, we like to claim it as an original idea, but it's not. Um, it's original for the United States, but uh, it's uh, long based on long-running programs in Europe. Uh, Europe has a fantastic RV community, um, just like the United States, and we were fortunate enough to be able to RV in Europe for a while and the farms and wineries just added so much more to your travels, our travels. And we could meet people, um, granted, you know, sometimes we couldn't speak the language, but, <laughs> you know, ho hoisting a glass yeah. of wine. Wine, and wine is the universal to everybody. language. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody understands that, everybody likes that. And then we came back to the U.S. and says, how great is that? Let's go and start staying in wineries and farms. And there was nobody doing it already, so. We said, oh, we could do that. It's, right. it's not uh, hard. It's just such a, a fun idea. We, we should just go do that. So yeah. uh, we started researching in about 2008. And uh, in 2010, we started selling our first memberships. This was an idea that I think RVers really were looking for, looking for something different and uh, gave them totally new options. So we're really excited to yeah. have been and able to do that. And we're grateful to have those options available to <laughs> oh, us. Thank you. We've yes, gotten thanks. to tour some of the coolest places and pick our own nectarines right from the tree. Yeah. And I, that's just a really cool experience to get to see behind the scenes and be able to support local businesses and communities. Exactly, that is that is a really important part of the program for us. We, we started the, the program during the recession. People were struggling. Um, we thought, how can we help these people and also provide the fun time for the RVers. And it just was the, the perfect fit for the time mm -hmm. for us and for the experiences that people were looking for. That is awesome. Did you guys have any sort of tech background to uh, <laughs> like learn how to create this website database? No, um, I can't say we did. I mean, we were both in uh, corporate worlds, you know, many years ago. And um, I just kind of taught myself simple web design. Uh, back before we had the um, uh, responsive design. And so we had a nice simple website, uh, make it really easy for people to get from A to B and find things on the website. Um, and then of course, we've had to grow as the community's grown, as uh, tech has grown. 
Um, we just released our our first apps uh, just in the last month, which you covered yeah. very very yeah. well. Thank, Thank you. you so much. No, for we, that. Were, yeah, we were thrilled <laughs> that the app was out there. <laughs> yes, we're always always excited when we get a new app, especially for resources that we love and we use all the time. So it's really awesome to get our hands on it and to be able to put it out there, kind of, and just show people, hey, you know that thing that you love? Now it's even easier, <laughs> and you can use it on your phone. And uh, is there any way that um, farms or vineyards can sign up for the program if they're, if they're interested? Or how do you even go about adding new uh, new farms and vineyards to, to the database? Well, that's kind of my, my half of the business. Um, I'm the one who recruits all the hosts. Um, so I do an awful lot online, um, social media, um, any kind of research I can do. Um, and then I contact them and contact them and contact yeah. them. And <laughs> explain how wonderful it is to have these great RVers come and stay on their properties. Mm -hmm. And as word of mouth has gotten out there and as our membership grows, our members are doing the same thing for us. Awesome. And so we get, we get hosts who come to us and they don't even bother to call us and say, what, tell me more about the organization. We just get a form in the in email mm -hmm. saying, hey, we want to join and here's our information. Sign yes, us up. We, we do provide a form right on our website right. for the hosts and we provide a little bit of information. Typically, they will give us a call and ask for more information. Mm -hmm. However, if they've talked to a really enthusiastic uh, member, yes. they just go fill out the form and, and send it to us right away. Yeah, so it that's seems been... to be a pretty easy process then. So if you want to become a member or you want to become a host, you can find that information on the website and you have a map so you can see the Harvest Hills locations across the country. Oh, exactly. Yes. We we, on the on the public portion of the website, uh, we do provide locations for mm -hmm. people to, to see if, if it looks like the, the program will work for them. Because we're a membership program, um, only the exact uh, only the members have the access to the exact locations, okay. and uh, so that way we protect the privacy of the hosts and the integrity of the program. Yeah, yes, yeah. we completely understand that. And, and one of the things we get questioned about a lot is what's in it for the hosts, uh, because. You know, are we charging the host? How does that work? And because, as Kim said, we're trying to support the small producer, there's no cost to the host to be part of our program. Uh, so there's no charges for them to do to get our members to come to them. Likewise, as a thank you, they don't charge you guys to spend the night. Mm -hmm. And so since it's all in having the experience, meeting new people, we just say say thank you by making a purchase. Yes. And that's that's all that's in it for the host and everybody's happy. Yes, and when you go to these places, you can't leave without trying some of these awesome things <laughs> yes. that they have available and it's just an easy way to say thank you for letting us hang out in your field for a night. Oh yeah. And exactly. We we do try to find places that have uh, interesting experiences mm -hmm. or interesting products. Or, you know, of course, there's always wines, there's the breweries, there's the distilleries. We, we try to have something for everybody. Um, we have museums, we have alpaca ranches, we've got a gator ranch in Mississippi. All kinds of interesting experiences <laughs> for, for everybody. That's so awesome. And one question we get uh, sometimes is van dwellers or class B um, folks wonder what self-contained means because to be part of the program, the rig does have to be self-contained. Is that correct? Yes. That is correct. Uh, Self-contained for our purposes and in general for the, the industry means that you have to have um, a toilet of mm -hmm. some sort. Um, you need to have onboard gray water storage. Mm -hmm. um, that means either a tank attached underneath or a tank uh, that's enclosable inside so that uh, nothing sloshes anywhere. It doesn't end yeah. up on the ground any place. Um, we also require that they have an inside kitchen. Right. Um, the hosts are only offering a parking space. They're not offering a camping spot. Mm -hmm. um, and they're being very generous about that. And we want to make sure that um, their their wishes are being um, upheld. Yeah, they, they don't want somebody basically cooking in their parking yes. lot. They want somebody who's just parked. Yes. Yes. So we're, we're trying to, to um, have a small of an impact as we can yeah. yes. um, and just go in there have a wonderful time and just be mellow and calm yeah. and not uh, yes. not bring any attention definitely. yes definitely and, and we don't want to step on anybody's toes so you know that's unfortunately why we could not pr allow tents in the program yeah. because that just looks too much like camping mm -hmm. and camping would bring to the attention of local authorities who would say oh well you're running a campground 
Well, it's not a campground. These are just customers who are staying. And yeah. friends. Mm -hmm. And know, friends. They're, they're exactly. friends you know? that, yeah. that are coming to visit and they're allowing them to, to park on their property. Yeah. It could be, you simple. know, it could be yeah. in the back 40, but it could also be right in their, in yeah. their public parking exactly. lot open to view. And we've experienced both of those situations. And in the front, it's great for easy access and overnight stops. And in the back, it's awesome because we really get to dive into that experience. Yes, so. and, and you get a little bit of privacy back there too. But uh, it, they both are wonderful experiences either way because one, you have the ease of just pulling in and being completely done. You pull right into your spot and you're all the way set up for the rest of the night. Yeah. And then the other option, you get to be out like under a beautiful like willow tree on a lavender <laughs> farm. And then, you know, so there's, there's all different types of experiences and different um, size uh, uh, accommodations too for yeah. different size rigs. And that's one thing that I really like about the website and the app is all the, um, like signifiers you have for each site, whether they're dog friendly, whether they, what size rigs they have, you really have all that information for each host. So that mm -hmm. makes it really easy for people to know if their rig will be fit there or if the spot's a good fit for them. Exactly, Absolutely. yeah, we, we tried to make it easy. We tried to make it pretty obvious and uh, just for everybody's information, 80% um, of our locations can accept rigs 45 feet and longer. So awesome. if you have a big rig, we're gonna have lots of places mm -hmm. for you. And 90% of our locations uh, allow pets. On that a leash, so of course, great. and you have to be yeah. a good pet owner. Yeah. <laughs> and, and of course, to make it even easier, uh, you can search by size. Yes. So if, if you're a really big vehicle, you can just say search for only the largest size. Uh, and, and so you can do that if you're a, a van or something small. You can search for all across the board because yeah. you can fit into any place. Exactly. I really like that about the app. It has that option as well and the website both. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> well, cool. So Vibe Tribe, that is Don and Ken from Harvest Hosts. We love the program. We'll put all those links below, Facebook, um, their website, where you can find all the information. But thank you guys again so much for being with us today. Well, thank oh, you, thank so, you much. so much. Too. We appreciate great uh, members <laughs> like you guys. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. really it's helps been us so out. nice to get to talk to you guys and get to know you better. I feel like we've exchanged emails emails and, yes. and talked online but we never got to meet you face to face so it's really cool to finally meet you and hang out with you for a bit hopefully you guys enjoyed meeting them as well and thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you next time later on bye